let's hop right into it. If your first thought is complaining, if your first thought is bitching about how early it is and you don't want to get up, you know I already lost. You know you already lost the battle. Why not get up and stack early wins? Let's start stacking W's from the gate. One of the biggest things that I do in the morning, and it's been such a major, major component of my mornings, is not only just getting up early, we already know, 4.30 a.m., the alarm is going off, but showing gratitude. As soon as that alarm goes off, I'm showing ex extreme gratitude. Super thankful, super gratitude, super grateful for another chance to get better, another chance to level up, another chance to get crazy, another chance to chase and get closer to the goal. Listen, it wasn't always like that. There was a lot of times when I'd wake up complaining, bitching, I don't have this, I don't have that. Basically, scarcity. Because the amount of times I was complaining about what I don't have, it's a scarcity mindset. You know, versus when you are grateful, you have gratitude, you become abundance. Because you're not thinking about what you're lacking, what you can't, what you don't have. You're thinking, you're thinking about what you do have and what you can offer. And that's something that saved me. It, it saved me, put it like that. I won't get into too much. We already know the backstory. But when I went from scarcity to abundance, abundance isn't a dollar amount, but abundance is what are the tools that I do have, okay? Yes, I could dwell on the things I don't have and complain, get into a deep, dark depression and be upset, be sad, or I can shift it because I have the control of, of my mind. I have the control of my mindset to think about, okay, well, what do I have? What can I offer? What tools and what are my strengths that I have right now that I can utilize that now can get me to the next level and work on more tools and get more tools. And now it's not about lacking, it's about man, I'm working in abundance, always. Gratitude has been the fuel. Gratitude has been the motivation. I don't dwell too much on past accomplishments and all of that because I don't want to get comfortable, right? But I do take some time out to think about, all right, we've made progress, even with these videos, right? If anybody's been following this channel, you remember when I was just doing the videos in the car with an iPhone 6, then we went to the 10, then we went to the 11, then we got started work with the Sonys, then we got the full frame cameras, now we got lights in the background, and now we're doing it from different areas throughout the country. Gratitude. And we're gonna level up some more. We got some new cameras coming. We're gonna be on locations soon. Things are changing. But regardless, it's still showing extreme gratitude. I'm still grateful. I'm grateful for the iPhone six days. I'm grateful when I was just like, I don't know, I don't know if anybody cares about these videos, but because it allowed me to create that fuel to keep on going, keep on trucking, to keep on just keep going. And trust me, easier said than done, I know I've been there and still there because I'm still not satisfied. I'll never be satisfied, right? I'm always gonna set new goals, keep pushing it up, keep setting the bar higher, that's just me. But I'm grateful for, well, look what you did accomplish. Look at the tools that you have developed. Or even look at the tools or the lack of tools that you don't have, but you still made it happen with what you had. That was the biggest thing that really, that's another one. Let's get into it. I'm getting hyped on this video. The tools that I didn't have, I only had the iPhone 6. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make this iPhone 6 and shoot these videos, shoot this content and make it look right. I'll beat out anybody. Sometimes it's the lack of tools that can make you even more powerful and grateful that, hey, I do have only this, right? I only got this, <laughs> right? I only have this, but I'm, you know what? I'm grateful for it and I'm gonna utilize it to the maximum. If you're in the photography space, the videography space, of course, we always want the shiny new equipment. We always want the new full frame camera, the new lenses dropped, trust me. It's very easy to rack up $20,000 in just lenses very quickly, but sometimes, being able to only have one body, one lens, and you know what, you gotta make the best out of it. Sometimes it's not being able to have the camera right then and there, and you only have the phone, 
and you make the best out of it. And I can go on with multiple examples, but of course, you know, my space is always going to be with cameras. That fuel to be able to say, I'm going to make it happen regardless. That challenge, that uncomfortability is gasoline to the fire. And sometimes that's what you need because you're soft. I know I was. A lot of times it would always be about this person is winning because they have this. This person is winning because they have more than me. They got more connections. They have more money. They have blah, whatever. All of that. When I started to acknowledge the blessings. When I started to really acknowledge, thank you. I was like, okay. It started to energize me. So instead of looking at the challenge and being afraid of the challenge and shying away from the challenge, when I started to embrace the blessings, I was like, okay, I'm ready to take these challenges head on. So what I want you to do, it might sound cheesy. I still do it. I have a gratitude journal. <laughs> you know, I write, I write it down. It's not just even waking up and saying it. When I get up and I get to the little office, I write it down. I write down what I'm grateful for. I take a moment, you know, to just be in silence. That's why I get up so early also, to be in silence. Even when I'm on a flight, I don't care how long the flight is because it allows me to be in silence. Sometimes, you know, 15 hour flight, a 24 hour flight. A lot of it is just me not even listening to music. I'm not listening to, I'm not watching any movies. I'm just in silence, just taking it all in, just reflecting reflecting that I'm on this flight, reflecting how did I get here, reflecting what, what were the steps to make it happen. Maybe that's something that you need to do. Sometimes you might need to even share it with somebody that you're comfortable with, that you're, you're close with, that you love. Show them, tell them. It made a difference. It made a tremendous difference. You know I like to get crazy. You know the type of energy that I, I like to have. That fuel comes from the gratitude. So I want you guys to start acknowledging the jewels that you've received. Acknowledge the blessing that you have. I know, I get it. We want, we see the shiny object ahead. We see it. We see what the other person might have. Trust me, do not get inside your own head. I've been there, trust me. And I still gotta work on it. You know, but a lot of times when I see it, it's not, it, I use that as even fuel too. be like, okay, I see you. All right, I'll be there soon. Okay, that's what it looks like? Okay, cool. I'll be there in a second. Show gratitude. More videos on the way. Let's get it.